Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to share a few dialogue tips for two characters in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The other day, someone commented on one of the Doodly official YouTube videos asking for tips and tricks on how to make two characters have a dialogue, like talking with each other in a Doodly video. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you need, obviously, are your two characters in a scene. Now you have a couple choices. You could do speech bubbles like I'm doing right here, or you could do individual voices. You and a friend could voice each of the characters, or you could hire voiceover artists to do it for you. Or you could use a speech to text tool such as Talkia. And you can mix and match these. For example, if I'm doing the speech bubbles, I can also do a voiceover if I want. So it's not necessarily that you have to do only one or only the other. You can do them both if you want. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of these techniques and they're very easy. So as you can see, I have my scene here and this is a speech bubble that does come in Doodly. So if you go to props and you type in, just do bubble. And the reason is because most of them are called speech bubbles, but if you have enterprise, there's one called talk bubble. And then the standard one here is the smartphone text bubble. Okay. So if by doing bubble, you get more choices. You also have thought bubble. Okay. If you don't have these options or you don't like these options, you can also import some. So these are some that I have imported in the past. And I just found them on sites like freepick.com, pixabay.com, and what have you. So you can find them all over the place and import them yourself. That's one technique. Of course, you add your text in there and you do all your timing and so it looks nice. But then let's keep going with it. They're talking back and forth. So what if we cut to a close-up of him asking his next line or saying his next line, and then we cut to the two of them together like so okay so this is what i have let's just preview it again okay so here's my initial scene and timing i've got pretty good but here's the transition how it swipes i don't know that we need the transition i think we can just go ahead and cut to him and then did you see how long it took to draw that bubble that's like too much okay so that's what I want to change, the transitions and the drawing times. So transition, go to scene settings, and this is the default, the swipe left. I'm going to turn it to off. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. You know, we're just assuming this continues on and on and on for a longer scene than what I have here. And then let's go back here three seconds it takes to draw this speech bubble. And I just think that's way too long. It gives it way too much importance. Let's just look at it. So we're drawing the guy and then here we go, just to have him finally spit it out, right? What do we do? I would say don't even draw the guy. And then I like giving it a little bit of prominence bubble. So like maybe one second would be good. And then we have his dialogue coming on. Let's, let's slow that down a little bit. And then let's add some time at the end of the scene. Let's do the same on this one. Just, you know, a little breathing room so that they can read what was written. Now let's take a quick preview. So he comes on and he says, Hey, I've been watching your videos. She says, oh, you're welcome. And then now we're going to cut. And then he's like, do you have any dialogue tips for me? And then we need to cut to her and adjust the timing there as well. So you see, that was just way too much of nothing happening. You know, we don't need five seconds before she comes on and goes, oh, that's a good idea. So adjustments, scene settings. I think two seconds was just a touch too long on that. So I'm going to go one second. And then on this one. So again, we have the big three second drawing. The big three seconds for all of this is way too long. So let's first of all have him 
already be in the scene, so we don't even draw him. I think we'll do the same with this character. And then again, thought bubble, maybe one second, and then sounds like a great idea. That's going to be a little bit longer. And then we need some time at the end, you know, it's just going to end. We'll give it a couple seconds so that it's there. And timing wise, this should be a little bit better. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, let speed that up just a little bit, okay? So that's pretty good. We can also do a little camera movement here. So let's go over to scene one, and we know that she's gonna be saying something here. So why don't we add a camera movement? So go ahead and click right here. Let's move it down. Let's go to show preview. I like to use this to fine tune where it comes in. So right as she's getting ready to say, you're welcome, we should be fading in or moving the camera in so right in here so let's move our camera down to here you do notice i put a little delay here we have a one second delay before she says thank you so let's double click this and now let's control the camera I'm just move it over so we just see the girl and her saying you're welcome real quick and then I'm gonna add one more camera move. I'm gonna move it down here to the beginning of the next scene. And basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna unlock start, is I'm just basically resetting it so it's all full screen like that, okay? So now let's see what that looks like. So that's just another little trick you can do if you want to add movement. So that's basically it with the cartoon speech bubbles. Now what about doing the voice? Well, you have options. I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to go back to my videos and I had made a duplicate. Now before I get rid of these speech bubbles, I'm going to use them kind of as a little cheat sheet because I want to do my voiceover and I want to know what I'm supposed to be saying. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to use one of these new doodly features. I'm just going to right click, record audio. So now it's going to record it down here at like 10 seconds in. And I'm just going to say my line. Okay, this is me. So I'm going to say, you're welcome. So here I go. You're welcome. Then he's gonna say his thing. So if you had your friend here with you, you could just take turns saying your things. Um, but I'm gonna use Takia for him. So let me just real quick do mine. And do record audio. I'll just move it down here, touch. And here we go. Sounds like a great idea for a new tutorial. Okay, so those are mine. So now I need to go to Takia. So I have Voomly Cloud, so I do have Takia. And this is speech to text software. So let's just do a new project real quick. And we're just gonna call it Dialogue. So I'm just gonna type this in. And I need a male voice. Uh, I'm assuming this person is male. I could be wrong, so forgive me if I made the wrong choice. So I'm gonna say I like this voice. We can speak it real quick. Been watching a lot of your tutorials. Thank you for them. And let's just go ahead and add it to our timeline. And I'm gonna go ahead and export it. I'm gonna give it a name. We're just gonna call it Dialogue One. And here's my next one. And we'll just add it. Do you have any tips for dialogue and between two characters? It. And I'll call this one Dialogue Two. And that's it for Takia. We go back into Doodly. And we're gonna go ahead and click the sounds tab and then the blue and white plus sign. 
and we're just going to drag our files in. So we've got dialog one and two, and then we're going to put them in the appropriate place. Okay, and we have our audio in here. Now I can go ahead and delete some of this stuff because we're not going to use them both. Okay. Okay, so I have to adjust my timing and I need to kind of reconfigure my scenes because these are laid out with the speech bubbles in mind, right? So we can just do a few things differently. Let's bring these guys closer together and control all, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we don't need to see their feet necessarily. You know, something like that might be good. So now we need to just kind of move our audio down. So he's gonna say, hey, I've been watching you. Oh, thanks, that's wonderful. We need to just shorten this scene quite a bit. Okay, and then we have our close-up of this guy. So he's got a question, so let's go to props. And let's search for a question mark. And he's gonna say, do you have any tips for dialogue, right? So he's gonna come up here. And we don't need this to be a super long scene either, right? So his audio is only three and a half seconds long, yet our scene is a good six seconds. So let's just see. I'm going to have nothing happen. I'm not gonna have him drawn. I'm gonna do a camera cut, okay? So that's what I'm doing there. And then we could maybe draw that on quickly. And then let's add some time at the end of the scene. Not a whole lot. And let's go back to our first scene. Scene settings. Remember, I'm making it a cut, so I'm turning off the exit swipe. And I think timing wise, that'll be fine. And then we're down here to our last scene. So I'm moving my audio down and we need to reconfigure this. So, and once again, it's going to be a camera cut because you know they're, they're together. So let's go to scene settings, turn off our swipe. And then we're going to come here and they're both going to be drawn on. I think, I think we're going to animate this more with a camera movement. So since I shrunk that down, I need to make it extend again. So how do I do that? Well, I add time at the end of the scene. So let's just say five seconds. Timing wise, I think this will be fine. And then um, I said camera movement. So let's go ahead, just right click, add panning and zooming. And let's do it right as she begins talking. And we're starting like this, and it's just going to be just a, sh a short little zoom, maybe just a little like that. Okay. Hit apply, and then we're going to make it kind of a slow zoom like that. And that is basically it. As you can see, it's just a lot of little adjustments, moving things around. You've got your two voices going back and forth. I do like to have them on separate lines, so separate tracks for your voices, so that way you know, okay, this is the guy, this is the woman, this is the guy, this is the woman. So you just kind of can visually go through it. If you hover, you can see the different names. So remember, I named his tracks Dialogue 1 and Dialogue 2. Now if you have multiple characters, go to these dots, click, and do Add Track, and so then you can add another line for whichever other character you have. So let's just take a quick look and listen and then we'll be done. Been watching a lot of your tutorials. Thank you for them. You're welcome. You have any tips for dialogue between two characters? Sounds like a great idea for a new tutorial. And there you have it. Some different ways that you can work with dialogue between two characters in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.